It's a party of Bavre Mani. We actually are all about the youth. We want to engage the youth. We want to excite them. Hello and welcome to this very special program on the Inc. Conference or the Innovation and Knowledge Conference that's attracted some of the most fascinating thinkers and doers from across the world to Jaipur. Modeled on the TED Conference in the United States, the Inc. Conference has as its theme the power of the journey and speakers here have thrown up a range of innovative ideas, thoughts and refreshing insights. Over the next half hour, we bring to you some of the finest moments from this conference. Like many Indians, I left home for the United States on a journey of fortune and adventure. While New York is an exhilarating city, there are few things about my core that are clearly rooted elsewhere. On occasion, I experience a sentiment I've called nostalgia India. When this happens, I feel a certain wistfulness for the 80s and 90s in India and I pick up the phone and call my sister. And we laugh and joke about the rich cultural idiosyncrasies that made up our lives coming of age in India. We look back fondly at Dark Room, the innocent game of hide and seek we would play in the dark when the current went off due to load shedding. Gold Spot, the zing thing. <laughs> Videocon washing machine, which I don't know if you guys remember this, washes, rinses, and even dries your clothes. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> the green Onida TV devil who's Low, uh, low pitched, rasping voice would say, Neighbors envy, owners pride. The little Doodarshan logo that would rotate on your black and white television screen, half apocalyptic and half melancholic. Supandi's bizarre comb over from Tinkle. <laughs> Scenes of gore from Amachitra Katha comics. And of course, my favorite, the safari suit. <laughs> this, in my mind, this is the low point of Indian men's fashion. <laughs> would I. Would I one day become a pot-bellied uncle in a safari suit? It's no exaggeration that the possibility recently made me run a marathon, at which point I was called an entu cutlet by my close friends and family. We'd look back fondly at eating mango duet ice creams in summer, our round and reliable ambassador car, our Ambi, and of course, my kinetic Honda, enabler of my youthful courtships and fun, fun rides to the streets of Bangalore. And of course, there were words like fatty, fatty, bombalari, shame, shame, puppy, shame, Sorry, sorry, one played Puri and Mother Promise. <laughs> now, it occurred to me one day that these words and phrases and cultural constructs that brought my sister and I so much joy needed to be captured and celebrated in, at one, in one place for posterity. And so my, my good friend Arun and I, my chaddi buddy, uh, we teamed up and we, um, we conducted a small experiment. We reached out to our friends around the world and we asked them to give us words and, words and expressions just like these that were most evocative of intriguing Indian lingo. And we were amazed by the response. In less than three days, we received about 200 well-written entries, a small but rich anthology of South Asian writing, funny and informative and centered around words. The site is as much about the past as it is about the present. The Lokpal bill gets dubbed the Jokpal bill on the site. When famous rapper Akon showed up in India to make Chamak Chalu, and when he asked his co-producers what Chamak Chalu meant, his co-producers looked at him vaguely but someone on Samosapedia defined Chamak Chalu clearly. And then we have words like Aadhaar that stand for foundation and represent one of the most ambitious projects to date to give every Indian a unique identification. And of course, when the entire country was transfixed and mystified by this epidemic, <laughs> Kolaveri, why this Kolaveri? Kolaveri Deep and Soup Boys were all clearly defined on the site. Now, there's nothing innovative about Samosapedia. It would be hubristic to suggest that any of the core ingredients of the site were not in existence before us. However, what is interesting is what the site represents. What Samosapedia stands for is, is the sense of pride and the celebration of the distinct tongues of our Vernis that merge to form a Hindi, Kannada, Urdu, Telugu, English, Patois that is uniquely and authentically ours. What Samosapedia stands for is this new South Asian identity that is brimming with confidence, that is self-aware and, uh, and self-actualized, and most importantly, one that can look at itself and laugh. Because laughing at yourself, we believe, is the truest sign of social and cultural progress. Working on this project is like having the same conversation I used to have with my sister, except now with thousands, if not millions of people, just like the two of us.
Thank you. NDTV's Cricket app. Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard. Special analysis. And much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.